I turned ChatGPT into a full voice activated AI assistant and I'll show you exactly how to do it step by step. Let me show you a quick preview first. Can you help me write a business model for my AI learning platform? Certainly. Designing a business model for an AI learning platform involves considering various factors like the target market, revenue streams, value proposition, key partnerships, and more. And there are a ton of different voices too. Let me show you one more. Write me a short sci-fi story about the future of AI. The library at the edge of the universe in the year 2345. Humanity had spread to distant corners of the galaxy, colonizing new worlds and establishing a vast interstellar civilization. So hopefully that gives you a couple of different ideas of what's possible. Let me show you how to set it up step by step. And you could do this with the free chat GPT account as well. Okay, the very first step is you have to use Google Chrome because you need this Google Chrome extension. This is a free extension called Talk to Chat GPT. So you could go ahead and search for this and I'll link it below as well. And then make sure you just go ahead and install this to your Chrome. Now, open a new window with Chat GPT and you'll see this new option. It says Talk to Chat GPT. You just have to press start. I'm gonna put mine on mute, but you have to give it access to your microphone if you wanna to speak to it. So I usually like to speak my prompt into it and I like to hear back what it says through the speaker here. So you'll get some kind of pop-up here that says give permission to your microphone and then you could basically talk to it right over here. So before I do that, let me show you some of the settings options you have available. This is the settings menu over here. So the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna choose AI voices and language. So you have lots of different options. They have lots of different languages you could choose from. Now, some of them are kind of comical. They're more for fun. But if you're using this more for productivity, you kind of don't want to choose one of the fun options. So I'm just going to go down to one of these Google voices. Google US English. It's going to sound kind of generic, but I'll show you how to use another app called Eleven Labs, where it is right here. This is something you could check on and use Eleven Labs, which sounds a lot more realistic than the options they have available with this Chrome extension. So right now, I just have to turn this on. Everything else I could set to the default option. The stop word here is useful. So if it's talking and you want it to just to stop, you could just say stop. So make sure you put whatever voice control you want for these. I'm gonna set everything to default, except I did change the AI voice and language. Typically, the first time you download it, you're gonna get a voice that is very audible. And if you change it, sometimes you get really kind of funny voices that are not as practical. I'll save. Okay, now if I unmute it, it's gonna listen to me and type out my prompt for me. So I'm gonna say, recommend a dish to impress a date who is a picky eater. Certainly. If you're looking to impress a picky eater, it's best to stick to familiar flavors while presenting them in a- Okay, I'll just press this little icon here to stop. The prompt is gonna keep going so I could always generate or stop generating from over here. But you got the idea what that sounds like. That's the default type of voices. They sound kind of generic. So let me show you the more advanced options, which is what I showed you in the beginning of the video. Now, let me put this on mute. Sometimes when you forget to put it on mute, it just keeps kind of writing out different prompts. So this part you'll get used to after using it for a bit. I'm gonna go back to settings and I wanna show you the really good option with voices called 11 Labs. Now, if you haven't used 11 Labs before, it's by far the best text to speech AI platform out there. It's a whole different platform, but you could turn it on here through what's called an API. So if I check this on, it's gonna ask me for my 11 Labs API key. So this is kind of a little bit of a paid upgrade. You need a 11 Labs account, even though you will get some credits for free. And then you have 11 Labs voices. So you get a whole set of different voices here. So the one I showed you, Wayne, basically that deep voice Wayne here is one of the options, but I'll just choose a very random one. I'll choose Ethan here and you'll see how great that sounds. And I'm gonna leave these blank and let me show you where to get this API key. If you go to 11labs.io and create an account, you could click over your profile icon here and go to profile and your API key will show up over here. So you could go ahead and select this whole thing, copy it and bring it to that other chat GPT box. So right over here, typing your API key, make sure you don't share this because this will use the credits from your 11 labs accounts. And just to give you an idea here, I got 33,000 characters for the $5 a month plan I have. 
So it does go pretty quick if you use this all the time. So go ahead and test this out with the free account. Maybe the default voices are just fine for you. But if you want to take it to the next level, this is the way. 33,000 characters when it's kind of giving you long answers could go quickly. So again, this is for more premium users. The one I showed you could be used totally for free without using 11 Labs. Now I'm going to go ahead and save it here and I'll go ahead and start a new chat here. I'll use just chat GPT 3.5. Tell me the difference between Mac and PC. Mac and PC are two distinct types of personal computers, each with its own set of characteristics, hardware, and operating systems. Here are some key differences between the two. So that was Ethan. Very, very interesting. Just a random voice I picked from 11 Labs. Again, if you're not using 11 Labs, you could get unlimited free voices from the set of voices I showed you in the beginning. But as you can see, 11 Labs takes it to a whole different level. But it will cost you money over time if you use this a good amount through that API that I showed you with 11 Labs. But I wanted to show you all the different options. Hopefully this could be something not just fun, but something that could make you a lot more productive when using ChatGPT with this voice activated option. Now, I also with my team put together an entire AI learning platform. So if you wanna learn not just these cool little tips with ChatGPT, but real practical applications of ChatGPT, in your work, we have entire courses dedicated to teaching you not just ChatGPT, but the top 50 AI tools. Right now we have well over 10 courses and well over 300 different lessons and tutorials that you could access for one monthly price. I'll go ahead and link that in the description below this video. If you wanna learn more about that, you could start with a free trial. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.